Today, I'm gonna be making your slime ideas, but this time, I'm gonna be sending them back to the person who gave us the idea. Our first slime is from Camila, and Camila wants us to make a slime titled, Don't Be Self-Conscious. I love that name, I think it's super funny and cute. It's gonna be a concha clay kit. It also looks like it's gonna be a snow fizz texture, so let's get our materials. I got my snow fizz. Looks like Camila drew like a light pink snow fizz base. So we're gonna add very little of the neon bright pink. Now let's give it a good mix. I love conchas so much. Back home, my mom always bought conchas. They just remind me of home. It's like the best treat. All right, we got a nice light pink slime. I'm gonna put it in our container. And now for my favorite part, we're gonna make the concha clay. I have some light brown and it's gonna be like the bottom red part. For the top, we're gonna be using this light pink for the front. Frosting. Camila, I also love that you wrote this idea is in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month because conchas are a big part of the Mexican tradition and I love that I'm making it into a slime. So now we're gonna add the little pink frosting stripes on our concha. There we have it. Now I wanna add some glitter because I really want this to pop. I'm gonna spray it with some water just like that, and then jazz it up with some glitter. Let's make it rain. We finished our concha. Now I'm gonna put it in a container, and there we have it, guys, our very own concha clay kit. It's so cute. We're gonna add a little bit of sprinkles. I love these sprinkles because it looks like some sprinkles you add on cupcakes. I'm also gonna add some into the clay kit. There we have it. Now Camila can assemble her very own concha clay kit with the idea that she came up with. But we need one last thing, the label. For every slime that we're making today, I'm gonna be making custom Peachy Babies labels. We have my laptop right here. I did this really cute concha design of two little conchas. One is shaped like a heart and one is a little circle. Now that Camila's custom slime label is finished, I'm gonna go print it out. So I'll be right back. Guys, look at this label. I'm so proud of myself, it's so cute. It says, don't be self-conscious. Camila, this is a great title. So now let's grab a label and put it on our slime. It's so pretty. Here you go, Camila, your very own Peachy Babies Concha Slime. Camila, thank you so much for the idea. I hope that when you get it in the mail, you open it up and it makes you smile. I'm gonna finish packaging this up and send it to you, Camila. Let's move on to the next one. This is our next fan mail. It is from Mr. Frog. Mr. Frog wrote us such a cute little letter. He says that his favorite slime that we have is Froggy Cubes. That's a great one. He also has a pet frog named Turnip, and apparently Turnip is very chonker. <laughs> and look guys, he even drew a little frog and it says, please respond. I'm not only gonna respond, I'm sending you a slime. He also sent cute little gifts. Look at these little erasers. Guys, he even sent a cute little pencil. I'm putting it on my desk. A really cute little sticker. This is going on my bottle. I appreciate all of your gifts. Thank you for the sticker, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, guys, he sent us a little cotton candy slime in like this little treasure chest. Oh, <laughs> there's literally slime in here. It's so tiny. Hmm, it smells like eraser. Wow, it even has like two different textures. It's like a thick and glossy with some kind of sandy texture that I've never felt before. It's almost like a bath scrub. But this slime, 10 out of 10, Mr. Frog, you are a talented slime maker. He also sent us little polymer clay gifts. Oh my gosh, it's rainbow soup. Look at that. He also sent this really cute, looks like a little plate, and it has a cow on it. Guys, he made a peachy baby's peach. That's adorable. And last, he made, it looks like a little glass of peachy milk. That's awesome. You are such a talented polymer clay artist. Thank you so much for the gifts, Mr. Frog. And now let's make you a custom slime. So since Mr. Frog says he likes jelly cube slimes, I'm gonna be making a jelly cube slime. So I'm gonna grab some clear slime, and I'm gonna dye it green, because I'm gonna make a custom slime for him themed after his pet frog turning. All right, now let's add our little jelly cubes. Speaking of jelly cube slimes, this is my favorite slime right now. It's called Honey Crisp Apple Cubes. It's a jelly cube with icy slime. The colors are so pretty and it's part of our fall collection. We have so many new fall themed slimes in our shop right now. So make sure to go buy one at peachybabies.com. We restock every Friday at 7 p.m. So don't miss the next restock. So now I dyed my slime a nice green color. And honestly, this reminds me of our froggy cube slime. So let's put it in our container and I'm gonna be using this super cute sprinkle mix we got two frogs, one is green, one is pink. They're friends, honestly, Mr. Frog, that's you. 
and that's turnip. And now let's add our little sprinkle mix. It has little frogs and some leaves. Now we're gonna add our little frogs, turnip, and Mr. Frog. And now let's add our custom label. So for this label, I wanted to draw turnip on a mushroom. I added some little stars, and now I'm just finishing it up with the title. So I decided to title it Mr. Frog and Turnip. Let's go print it. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this label. Let's put the label on our container. Here you go, Mr. Frog and Turnip. Here you go, Mr. Frog, your very own custom slime. I hope that you love your new slime. All right, let's do the next one. For this next slime, it's from Kaylee, and she wants to make a parrot dice themed slime. And it's supposed to be inspired by her love for parrots. I love parrots too, so let's do it. Seems like she drew a snow fizz and a clear slime base, so we're gonna be using both bases. For the bottom half, we're gonna be doing clear slime, and it's gonna be blue. So I chose some of our brightest dyes. We got some neon bright yellow and neon bright blue. All right, let's finish up giving that a good mix. Let's put that as the bottom half. And now for the top, she kind of went for like a sandy snow fizz vibe. So to achieve this sandy color, we're gonna add a little bit of neon bright yellow to the snow fizz. Let's give that a good mix. Okay, it is looking super bright, so I think I'm gonna add a dot of brown and maybe it'll make it look more like sand. I think we finally achieved that sandy color that we were going for. Let's add this to our container as the top half. That's so cool, it looks like a little island. We're gonna add some nice little palm trees. And then I found some really cool sprinkles for this. And it kind of has that color scheme that we already have going on. And of course, our little parrot friend. We have a little clay parrot. So Kaylee, I'm gonna make this into a clay kit so that you can squish your little parrot friend into your slime. I'm gonna add your little parrot to its little clay container. Top it off with some more sprinkles. I'm also gonna add the little palm tree, close up the little clay kit container, and now let's add your personalized label. For your custom label, I'm doing two parrots, and I'm gonna do kind of like an ombre on the text. And I think it's ready, so let's go print it. We got our label. I'm really proud of how these designs are coming out. They're really cute. Let's add it to our custom slime. I think that this is the perfect tropical slime. I love the parrots. I love that it's like a little island. It's such a good concept. Thank you for the idea, Kaylee. I hope that you like your slime. And now for our final slime of the day. For this last slime, we have a challenge. She says that she loves watching Aaron and I getting into mischief and it's always fun seeing how mad Christian gets. <laughs> That's true. Also, she made a nice little subscribe button. So make sure to subscribe Let's try to get this video to 5,000 likes and I'll do a part two. Let's get into the challenge. For this challenge, we have different colors, charms and glitters and textures. So I'm gonna have Dan and Christian participate and let's make a mystery slime. First, we're gonna have Dan choose. Yeah, Hello. we have Dirty Dan in the house. Well, Dirty Dan is off somewhere. This is real Dan. <laughs> okay, this is real Dan. So Dan, Emmeline wants us to do a mystery slime. I want you to choose from any of these three. I'm gonna go with charms and glitters because it says also clays on here and I I wonder if we're there to make you make a clay, which I think would be pretty cool. Ooh, let's see, let's see. Clay, Ooh, you have to cover your oh, eyes. Right, it's close? a mystery slime. Cow, cow charms, charms and sprinkles. sprinkles. Wait, <laughs> I love our cow slimes. Thank you, Dan. Yep, no worries. So we have cow charms with sprinkles. Now let's have Christian come in here. Christian! Yep. Oh, oh. oh I'm so sorry. <laughs> Give it up for Christian. <laughs> Woo! Two options here. I can choose between texture or color. I want to choose the texture. Let's do it. Open it up. I'm not cheating. You better not cheat, Christian. Thick and glossy. Thick and glossy. Um, That's a solid texture. I also feel like it's going to pair well with the cow vibe. Yeah, yeah. It kind of looks like expired milk. Yeah. Or oat milk, if that's what your vibe is, yeah. too. It could be oat milk. We love oat milk. We don't judge the type of milk you drink. Thank you, Christian. Yeah, of course. See ya. And Emmeline, I'm gonna choose the last one. So we're gonna choose our color. All right. Wine, green, and yellow. Ooh, that's fun. We got all of our materials. We're gonna start off with our thick and glossy. Since we're doing lime green and yellow, I'm gonna separate it into two different parts. Emmeline, I love that you gave me a challenge. Based on the colors and the charms that I'm going for, I think I'm gonna do like a cows in space, alien vibe. Our yellow is all mixed in. And now we're gonna dye this lime lime green. All right, we got the green. What a good shade of green. Now that our green is done, let's assemble our slime. While I was making the swirl, Dan said that it looked like a caterpillar. This is 
this look like a caterpillar to you? I don't know, but I think that it looks super swirly and fun. I have the perfect charms for this. We got a UFO charm, right? And we got two different cows. They're all going on the slime. And then of course the aliens are part of the party. They're the ones abducting the cows. And also the sprinkle mix is gonna be some really fun stars and colorful sprinkles. And we also got some earths on there. There we have it, our very own cows in space mystery slime. I hope that you like it, Emmeline, and let's finish it off with our mystery label. Since we didn't know what slime we would get for this one, I just went ahead and made a mystery label. All right, our labels are done. I think it turned out super cute. Let's put that on our mystery slime. And there we have it, our Peachy's Mystery Slime. This is such a fun, crazy looking slime. Let's package it up. And there you go, Emmelyn. Thank you for the challenge. And now all that's left to do is package up these slimes and send them to you guys. Make sure to send us more ideas and maybe I'll make you a slime. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.